I haven't been this hyped to randomly stumble upon a game in quite a while, so let me introduce you to Warm Snow. Weird name, cool game. This is a fast-paced action roguelite in a similar vein to Hades and many others, but with a huge amount of, was this actually intended, kind of character synergies, the best kind where some roguelites overly constrict their upgrade systems to play it kinda safe, Warm Snow has just that right amount of loose and randomness to its rules, where the best runs are usually the ones where your character is blasting off so many effects across the screen you can barely even tell what's happening. That is the most addicting element to the genre, in my opinion. Now, as you slowly learn to take down each area's big boss by good old die, die, and die again, you will unlock different secondary abilities that will assist in your melee combat. You start out also able to throw out swords and recall them back all at once, which is pretty cool, but just one of the boss modifiers lets you either imbue them with flame to ignite a trail upon recalling them, or take away those swords entirely, giving you a big old jug of alcohol instead, letting you spray flammable liquid all over the place, pretty much begging you to build out the ultimate fire damage build. There's also different weapons that will drop during a run, and although they all have the same moveset, they do provide varying stats and also usually some kind of bonus effect that will activate if you find and assign the right upgrades to your character. Different passive and active skills will drop, which can be assigned into either your core, power, agility, or skill slots. Depending on which ones you equip and where completely changes their effects, and they also drop in different rarity tiers. So pretty much just one item has the flexibility of four, and you can swap these around easily to dynamically change up your build. This is already a ton of character building depth, but it goes on. There are also special passive skill tomes you'll find, which can pile and pile on top of each other the longer and longer you survive. 15 minutes or so into a run, your character might be detonating poison clouds on hit, leaving behind an ice trail during a dash, exploding energy balls all around you, and firing missiles every couple of strikes. And that's probably only half of what's actually going on. There's also some meta progression in between your deaths, outside of the ability unlocks you get for taking down bosses. Here you can assign permanent points into three primary skill trees that either make you overall statistically better, give you items at the start of your run, or unlock entirely new items and mechanics. Combine all that with the snappy combat and interesting sub and main bosses, and you have a super solid rewarding roguelite you'll actually want to stay up late playing, because it's just flat out addicting, not too frustrating. It's actually 2am while I'm writing this, right after I finish my first complete run. Yes. After you hit the credits, you can increase the difficulty modifier for increased rewards and drops, and it seems like there's an ultimate boss I need to get back in there and somehow find. If you're a fan of games like Hades, Dead Cells, or Skull the Hero Slayer, this is right up there directly next to them in the tip top of the action roguelite genre. So that's pretty much Warm Snow and my thoughts on it, and it's just on PC right now, but crossing my fingers the team can get it over to console sometime, because it deserves to be played. Now let's wrap this all up. This has been Alex, you've been watching Boomstick Gaming, and thanks for checking this out today. The video is over, but the fun maybe continues. It's up to you. You can click this video, this video, or subscribe. It's all good.